Hello students, welcome to Education on Cloud. So in chapter 1, we are supposed to study the important questions that can be asked in the exam point of view. Okay. So in that, the first question is that, what is motherboard? Explain the different components of the motherboard. Okay. So in the chapter 1, typical configuration of the computer system, what are the topics we covered in total is that a block diagram of the computer what are it is input output devices how the communication is happening what is meant by motherboard and what is ra primary memory ram all these kind of things and the last one comes the power supply so in that the very important topic is that motherboard motherboard memory all these are the very important topics that you should concentrate more on this. Okay. What is motherboard? First give the definition of the motherboard. Then answer for the next part. Explain the different components of the motherboard. In the motherboard we had different components used. So in that you have to say what are the components that are being present on the motherboard. So first we will write the definition of the motherboard. So what is motherboard? It is a large printed circuit board having many chips, ports, controllers and other electronic components mounted on it. Okay. So in the computer you will have one main circuit board which is actually a PCB on which all other electronic components will be mounted. So this main C PCB is called as the motherboard of the computer. On that you will have many ports, slots okay, and different electronic components mounted on that. So next comes the components of the motherboard. We said that electronic components are mounted on that. Now what are the main components that you will see or uh, in the motherboard which is necessary for working or like the system to work properly or configure properly the first one is processor so what is a processor a processor or a cpu is the main component on the motherboard and is called as the brain of the computer the cpu consists of arithmetic logic unit and control unit CPU also has a set of registers which are temporarily or uh, temporary storage areas for holding the data and instructions here you should answer to the point that's it okay no need to write the lengthy stories and all first thing give a brief definition of a motherboard then write the components first and explain what each component is. So for the first component we are talking about is a processor. So just say what is the processor is. A processor is a brain of a computer where all the instructions will be processed. Okay. Inside that you have ALU and CU which is for arithmetic logic unit ALU is used. And for control unit for controlling the overall operations or the processing of the instructions there. And you have something called as registers used inside the memory. Now why the registers are used? To hold the information for temporary storage the registers are used. So this is what you should explain for processor. Okay, Main points you should just list out there. Next comes your BIOS. Basic input output system so this is actually a small chip on the motherboard that holds a set of instructions to load the hardware settings required to activate various devices like keyboards monitors or disk drivers again write the basic input output system now what is this you should explain so this is nothing but a small chip that is present on the motherboard okay which is actually used to load some of the settings hardware settings to monitor 
or to activate some of the devices like keyboards, monitors or disk drives. It's nothing but input output uh, devices you want to activate. Next comes CMOS, CMOS or complementary metal oxide semiconductors. Again, this is a type of memory chip to store the date, time and system setup parameters. In the computer, you will have time displayed. Okay, date, also system parameters will be displayed. So from where all these things is displayed, where it is stored, this is in the memory chip called as CMOS means complementary metal oxide semiconductor which is used to store the date time and the system parameters and all these parameters are loaded every time the computer is started once you shut down the computer again restart it so every time you start a computer these parameters will be loaded okay so these are the third components next comes your slots so slots is nothing but what on the motherboard you will have openings where you can insert something else in that particular place these are called as slots a slot is an opening in a computer where you can insert a printed circuit board okay if you want to insert PCBs then you should have a slots on the motherboard slots are often called as expansion slots because they allow you to expand the capabilities of the computer if you want to extend the features of the computer or the capabilities of the computer you can do that using the slots itself in that slot we have mainly uh, like expansion slot which are used for expanding the capabilities of the system next comes disk controllers this controller is the circuit that enables the CPU to communicate with a hard disk, floppy disk or the other kind of disk drives. If you want to communicate between these disk drivers, then you will be using disk controller. Okay. Uh, next one is IO ports and interfaces. The ports and interfaces are used to connect external input output devices okay to the computer which gets connected to the motherboard means the input output devices you should con connect to the computer itself so how the devices are connected using IO ports and the interfaces next you have bus so what is a bus bus is a set of wires means it is a collection of wires these are called as the parallel wires that form a pathway to carry address data and control signals so in the computer if you want to carry the data you have a data bus to carry the signal uh, means the control signals you have control bus to carry the address you have the address bus so there are three different types of buses which is also called as a system bus there okay so these are the components of the motherboard which is your first question what is motherboard and explain the components of the motherboard the next question is that